How much money should go into public education? Thanks for joining us. I'm Macy Ellerick, and this is ENN Now. And I'm Rayleigh Lemons. Education funding is holding up budget talks between the House and Senate. According to the news website, Non-Doc, the House and Senate, which will ultimately have to agree on a state budget, are debating how much money will go to common education. It's the biggest part of the state's multi-billion dollar budget. Non-Doc reports the House wants to increase funding by more than $135 million, which would force traditional brick and mortar schools to obey the state laws on classroom sizes. But Senate negotiators are concerned. Funding formula changes will negatively impact rural schools if the class size law takes effect. The governor's office said it is not yet part of the negotiations. Lawmakers have until May to come up with an agreement and pass a budget. The FDA and the CDC announced Tuesday morning that the U.S. should pause the use of the Johnson & Johnson single-dose COVID-19 vaccine. The move comes after six cases of a rare but severe type of blood clot in people who received the vaccine. Some Oklahoma providers already stopped appointments for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. It's important to note that other vaccines, like Pfizer and Moderna, use a different process and have not had similar blood clot issues reported. Oklahoma Attorney General Mike Hunter has filed a lawsuit against the company Oklahoma tried to purchase ventilators from at the start of the pandemic. According to the lawsuit, the state health department ordered 40 ventilators from A&K Distributions. The state spent more than $890,000 on the purchase, but only received two ventilators. Oklahoma canceled the order in October, but the company delivered 21 more in December which the state returned. So far, the company hasn't given Oklahoma a refund. Hunter said the lawsuit is aimed at getting tax dollars back from a failed business transaction. The NCAA issued a warning to Oklahoma and other states in light of recent legislative attempts to ban transgendered athletes from women's sports. In Oklahoma, the Save Women's Sports Act would prevent transgendered athletes from playing on a women's teams in public schools. The NCAA has threatened to pull many championship games from states where such laws are approved. In Oklahoma, that could mean the loss of the Women's College World Series. Law enforcement officers may be able to use virtual visits to determine if someone in custody is having a mental health emergency. The State House unanimously approved the bill this week, which still needs final passage in the Senate before going to the governor. Sponsors of the bill say the virtual visits will connect people with help more quickly and could help people stay out of jail and prison. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining us. And be sure to check out our website and other social media pages for more stories from our team of student journalists.